Hello viewers, welcome to Learning X. Today we are going to show you how to make a simple dashboard using Microsoft Excel and without VBA and macro. I have given the download link of this practice file in the description box. You can download and make some practices with that file by making the same dashboard. So let's start. First of all, look at the database. Because database is a vital part for any dashboard making. Here we will work with this database. We can see here we have order ID, date, salesperson, region, product type, sales channel, and amount of sales. So all the data here is in normal range. So we have to convert in table range. You know why? Because if we do or if you make it in a table range, whenever a new data will come, it will be updated to the dashboard automatically. So this is the feature we will get if you convert it in a table. So we will do it by pressing Ctrl T. Now let's look at the second part of our dashboard making, which is pivot table. We'll make our whole dashboard with the help of pivot table to make or to convert range into a pivot table. Click on insert, then click on pivot table, then click on new worksheet, and OK. So our pivot table has been created. So now we have to think that how many charts we want to set in the dashboard. So I have a plan for six charts. The first chart will be top sales. The second one will be the trend lines for sales, another one for product comparison, another one for channel comparison, another one for region, and person-wise sales. So for six charts, I will create six sheet. I can make it in one, but for your better understanding, I will make it six. I will change the name. So what I will do now, I will copy this pivot table. I will paste it in all the sheets. So for every chart, there's a unique pivot table. Now look at the next part of our dashboard making. Here we will create a structure for our dashboard. So we will create a new worksheet. I am giving a name dashboard. Here we will design our dashboard as like we wish. I will insert a picture for the theme. I have downloaded the photo before. You can choose as like you wish. So I like green so I have chosen this picture as for the theme now I'll shape the photo I'll dim the brightness till 60 I think 60 would be perfect okay now I will give a title Now I will insert some other shapes. Fill for solid fill. I will take it as black. For transparency I will give it uh, 42. For line, no line. So our first shape is done now we'll just copy it now i'll give titles for a pictures top sales now I will align it with center. I'll fill it with no fill. I will outline it with no outline. I'll bold it and I'll increase the size of the font. Now I will make a copy of it to all the charts and I'll rename it. So I'll stand line products comparison channel region 
salesperson. So we have given the name of the charts. Now we'll bring some shape. Already I have downloaded it before. You can download as like you wish. You can also give some colorful clippers. It will look more live. So I'm placing it to all the charts and shapes. And it is done now I will create and bring all of my charts so I will bring top sales first here it is I will filter it with top 10 filter okay I will make it top 15 so only the top 15 sales will be shown Here I will remove all fields button, grid lines, charts name, exist name from the chart. I will format it. I will fill it with no fill, no outline. I will make change the color of the font here with white and bold as well as this. And I will shape the inner color with white color. So my chart is done then I'll take sales trend line here it is again sales then I'll bring date group the selection with month and year okay now I'll make the chart this is a trend line so I will use this one again I will remove all the fields button grid lines and unnecessary parts from the charts now I will copy it and I will paste it to my dashboard I will format it with no shape fill and no outline now I will format my both axes with white color font and I'll bold it and I'll give a white color to my line I'll click logic magic scale and I'll make the line smoother so it's looking nice now now I'll create my third charts which is based on product type sales based on product type I'll give some of sales and product types and values and rows I'll click insert I'll go to area chart I'll remove all the unnecessary parts from the chart I'll make a copy of it and I'll paste it in my dashboard Fill, no fill, outline, no outline, and axis, white color and bold as usual, like others. Now I will resize it. I'll give a green color fill. Now I'll go for my fourth chart, which is based on salesperson. I'll give some of sales to values and sales person to exist category in rows. I'll remove all the unnecessary fields now. This is a bar chart. I'll paste it to my dashboard. Again, I'll change no fill and no outline. I'll fit it into these shapes. change the color of the axis now I'll change the color of the bar of my charts going for my another charts which is sales channel 
I'm doing the same sum of sales to values all the time. This is a radar chart. Again, I will remove all the fields button, grid lines, and unnecessary parts from the charts. I will paste it into my dashboard. Same thing I am repeating here. Color, I should give it an orange color. I am making it fit to these shapes. Now I will go for my last chart with the sales based on the region. I will give sales on values and region on rows. And my data is ready. I will click insert and I will give, I will make a pie chart. Remove all the fields button. I will paste it here. A field, no field, for outline, no outline. I'll change the color sum of pies to sim make a similarity with our theme. And in the last part of our dashboard making, we have developed a nice a structure and we have also created several charts for our dashboard now we have to interconnect all of them together and we have to make a control panel for our customized report we can do this by slicer and timeline to create slicer and timeline we have to click on any sheets which has a pivot table then i will click on insert then i will click on slicer or we have to click the pivot table first then we have to click on insert then into slicer then we'll get our slicer list now i want a slicer based on salesperson another one for region another one for product type another one for sales channel i'm clicking then i will select all of them and i will paste it i'll paste it here Now I need one timeline by clicking for timeline you have to click on date otherwise timeline will not come so I'm clicking uh, pivot table which has the date then timeline then there's only one timeline for date and yes we have got our timeline okay now if you look at if I click on John only this data is changing even if I click on East only this data is changing but whole chart is not changing because all the charts are not interconnected we have to make the connection by click on report connection I'll select all all of this I'll do same thing okay now if I click here you see whole chart is changing now we are at the end of our dashboard making for final touch we'll design our slicer and timeline one interesting part of this dynamic dashboard is that whenever a new data will come to the sales database in our first sheet this will change all the charts because it will be updated automatically we can select all of this together and we can drag down at a once just change the theme I'll do this for all the slicer and for timeline we'll select this if you don't have themes with black and green then you can make your own by modify from this site you can create your own theme 
you can see it you can see it from here our dashboard is fully automated if I want to drag it you can see it from here I can even go to year 17 16 or 15 16 17 even I can go to quarter month even I can bring out report for every month and every day thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel